Hmm, wonder what I could get with a dollar. No, too much. No, that's too much too. Maybe, but probably not. A record album? I can get a record album for a dollar? What? Hey everybody, it's Mama J. And as you've seen by the thumbnail, I have some record albums that I purchased for $1 each. Now, I have already run all of these record albums through the record friend for the cleaning, and I also put them all inside plastic sleeves already. But prior to that, each one was a dollar. So, they're all in a box. We're gonna randomly pull out some and see what I got for a dollar. Okay, so let's go. Right there, everything, one dollar each. I showed you the box, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna randomly reach into the box and pull out different albums, and we'll discuss each one as I pull it out. Boom, first one we got is Neil Diamond. So this album is called Heartlight has um, a list of songs right here. Okay, and let's see, what year was this album released? 1982. So did we get lyrics? And we did not. We just got like who wrote the song, etc. Just the basic info. But no lyrics, but still a really cool album. Still had the plastic on it. And again, $1. All right, so let's move on and see what else we got for a dollar. And, oh, the Oak Ridge Boys, Greatest Hits, Volume 3. So this one did have the plastic on it. Um, you can see that it still had the plastic on it, if you can tell. But I did put the extra sleeve on them because I want to protect them. Right, let's see this one was released in oh well it's the greatest hit so it has multiple years that all these songs were released um, looks like 81 through 89 so this would have been released then in 89 did we get lyrics did we get lyrics we did not just a plain light cover but still, this album was in really good shape. Got it in the dollar bin. Um, each one of these I've already cleaned. But you can see how shiny they are. And I'm going to tell you, out of all the ones I got, I think only like one had a little scratch. And I'm pretty sure it's not going to affect the plane. All right, so let's go on to number three. I have not seen Neil Diamond or the Oak Ridge Boys in concert. This is a heavy one. What did we get? Oh, Jesus Christ Superstar. This is actually a movie. It does open up. Let's see, it has the pictures. It's like a musical. Let's see. Page. I have seen it a couple times, but it's really cool. This is really cool to get the soundtrack. It shows all the different songs on here. There are, it's two albums. That's why it does open up. Unfortunately, oh wait, what is that? An extra sheet? Okay, these just come with just a basic picture on them. And the other one just has a black and white cover. And then we got, wow, this is pretty awesome. A rock opera by Andrew Lloyd Webber and Tim Rice. Jesus Christ Superstar. And 
it does kind of have, because it's like an opera, so it does have like who's saying what and what part of each song. This is really awesome for this to still be in there. And again, I paid a dollar. So, I mean, for it to have this in there, that's pretty amazing. Because most of the time we know that a lot of times that kind of stuff comes up missing. So really cool, I was able to add this one. And again, put in plastic, because I did get the gatefold plastics to help also. All right, so that was number three. Let's pick another random one. Oh, Jefferson Starship, gold. So this one is two albums. It has multiple different songs on it. it includes special bonus sing singles. Light the Sky on Fire and Hyperdrive. This one's pretty faded right here, so it's really hard to see the year, but it does open up. Pretty cool. So that's pretty awesome. The band list, so that's pretty awesome. There's the band back then. You could tell it has a very 70s theme on it. So pretty cool. I was very happy to add that to my collection for a dollar. I don't know how many times I could say that because I'm going to tell you, I would have paid more than a dollar for some of these. Now, some of them I may not have, but most of them I would have. Let's pick another one. Oh, soundtrack for Grease 2. Now, I know a lot of people don't like this one. You know, they're like, oh, just Grease 1, just Grease 1. But I really enjoyed Grease 2 also. You can see Michelle Pfeiffer and Maxwell Caulfield, Adrian Zamed, um, clowns of people. So it's pretty cool. As we know, like Grease 1 was more focused around cars. Grease 2 had more motorcycles. All right, and then um, there is or is not. Oh, no lyrics. No lyrics, but that's all right. Uh, 1982. So happy to add that one to my collection. Right. Let's grab another. Boom. And we, oh, Sawyer Brown. Shaking. So they are a country band. Um, they kind of were big for a little bit, then kind of faded off. Not even sure if they're still together. Uh, no lyrics. And this album is from, so anyways, this is Sawyer Brown. Not sure of the year, it doesn't say. Pretty cool album, kind of has an 80s vibe. So I'm pretty sure. But let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. And, oh, we got Dolly Parton. So that's pretty cool. This one includes the hits, You're the Only One. This album is called Great Balls of Fire. Let's see, oh, it opens up. Oh, that's pretty cool. Opens up to Dolly. That's pretty awesome. Did we get lyrics? Did we get lyrics? We did not, sadly. Oh, stay. So that's pretty cool. Again, can't beat it. And even the album, after I clean them, I'm telling you, on almost every single one of these, look how nice that album looks. I mean, they all looked wonderful. All right, so that was So that was number seven. This is, oh, number eight, Canadian, Brian Adams. Reckless. I know I had this cassette and I probably still do. Did we get lyrics? We did get lyrics, score. Oh, and then this side we got all the band members, which is pretty awesome. 
So that's always a plus again. This one has a lot of cool songs on it. Heaven, Somebody, Summer of 69, It's Only Love. So he had a lot of hits off this one. Pretty cool. So I was really happy to add this. And again, let me just show you. Look at that. So nice and shiny. So pretty awesome. All right. So I believe that was number eight. So now let's do number nine. Oh, Jackson Brown. Jackson Brown is my mother's favorite singer. So it was pretty easy to grab this one. It does slide out as you notice. So it um, has this picture inside, which actually, if you look right there, oops, oops, there's Jackson sitting right there. So, and pretty. Pretty awesome, look at that. So this one slides in. So when you pull it out, you still see the picture. But then when you slide it in, this is the picture you see. So no Jackson and Jackson. So that's kind of cool. It's kind of like, oh, okay, yeah, it's in there because I see him. All right, so put that back in. And then see, that slides right in there. It's pretty cool. It does have a little rip right down here, but um, again, I couldn't complain for a dollar and I put it into the plastic sleeve, which will help protect that. All right, number 10, our last one, and boom, we got Neil Diamond. I think that's where we started with. <laughs> so we got this Neil Diamond one. Uh, this one is Greatest Hits Volume 2. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, did we get lyrics? We, we did get lyrics, score! So it's always cool, like I said, that's always a bonus, because back in the day, that was the only way you could get the lyrics. So really happy to add this one to my collection. So right there, 10 albums, $10. Tell me what you think, okay? You can't beat it. I got Neil Diamond's Greatest Hits Volume 2. Jackson Brown for Every Man, Brian Adams Reckless, uh oh, record falling out, Dolly Parton, Great Balls of Fire, Sawyer Brown, Shaking, Grease 2 soundtrack, Jefferson Starship, Gold. Jesus Christ Superstar, The Oak Ridge Boys, Greatest Hits, Volume 3, and <laughs> Neil Diamond, Heartlight. So like I said, we started and ended with Neil. Let me know if you like any of those. Let me know if you've seen any of these people in concert. you collect albums? Do you have any of these albums? Do any of them bring you wonderful memories? Because I only buy the ones that give me some type of memory. All right. Stick around, check out my Patreons at the end. Don't forget, leave me a comment and hit that like button. We'll see you in the next video.